weeks away, and the event wants you to know more about horse therapy. Emily Dean is with Howard to explain him. Rachel, good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. If you take a look behind me, you can see Grace and Mariah are leading Mo this morning. It's all a part of a learning process that they have at Taking the Lead. We're telling you about horse therapy this morning, but a big fundraiser that they have. These girls are learning about communication, leadership. That's just one of the many things that people, they want you to learn at Taking the Lead. Well, they also have Freedom Equestrian Therapy Services is putting on this fundraiser, too. Third annual Kentucky Derby fundraiser. We have Jessica and Stephanie here with us this morning and Tia who is also showing off her hat. We have these beautiful hats on. Uh, Jessica, tell us about this Kentucky Derby fundraiser and what it's all about. Certainly. Freedom Equestrian Therapy Services was founded in 2009. We are a nonprofit program and we utilize horses as our main mode of treatment for adults living with neurological disorders. Tia is one of our therapy horses. And so in order to offset costs and keep our costs low for our patients, we have a couple different fundraisers throughout the year and our Kentucky Derby fundraiser is one of the most enjoyable. And so this year we have teamed up with Taking the Lead as they also use horses for therapy to show Northeast Wisconsin what we have available and how horses can be used in a lot of different ways to be a great benefit to adults and kids with a multitude of different diagnoses. Well, let's go talk to Stephanie really quick because uh, Mariah and Grace are back there doing one of the many exercises that you're teaching these kids, and that's what you mainly work with is kids. So, um, you know, what are they getting out of this? Having, you know, the leadership skills that they're learning, the communication skills. Tell me about that, Stephanie. Well, when we throw a horse in the arena, they're an amazing teacher. Kids are drawn to them. They want to learn. And because they're doing an activity, it creates an experience and then a memory. They can now take that back to the playground, to the home front. Sometimes when we are just talking about different skills and trying to give them advice, kids don't often listen, but they do when there's a horse involved and they do when they actually experience. And so throughout this fundraiser, what Taking the Lee will be benefiting is a lot of times children who would benefit most from this service can't afford it. Yeah. And so it's going to be placed within a fund so that they can be sponsored within our program. Oh, that's great. And I know um, the fundraiser is in May. Rachel Monick is actually going to be one of the judges for the hat contest. So you'll have to come, bring your hat, because that's what you want people to do. Come on out, yeah. bring your hats to be judged, right? Exactly. Every year we add something fun, and the hat contest has always been one of the most enjoyable features of the uh, Kentucky Derby fundraiser party. So the bigger, the fancier, <laughs> the better. The gaudier, even, the better. So. And Tia looks great, too. I yes. mean, this just looks beautiful on her. So to learn more information about that, head to our website, click on the Good Day Wisconsin tab, go see Rachel, have her judge a fabulous You look hat. lovely in that hat, Tim. I love it. Oh, thank you, Rachel. I know it's the flowers the I think colorful. are just gorgeous. All the detail. Just nope, saying. just the flowers add just a little bit. A little something. I like it. Very nice. I'd write you down positively.